When was this? Ten hours ago, 80,000 dead. Ground zero was the Euronext exchange. How's it feel? You think I wanted this? You OGA guys are even more fucked up than I'd heard you were. I'm trying to stop this from happening in New York. Who do you think did it, Sergeant? The PLR and Solomon. Well, the blast yield matches Russian suitcase nuke specs. We put Dima in country at the same time. Do you know how that looks? Dima was trying to stop it. The Paris nuke must have been one of the missing ones. Bullshit. Then what? Didn't you still let it happen? Sergeant, go back in time to the bank. You said the Paris nuke links to the bank. Can't be, Dima. Can't be. I am waiting. I sent out a distress call. Anvil 3, part of Charlie Company first tax. They came to get us. Miller came to get us. Okay. 
scan destroyed. Nine four three four. Ammo six six. This is Ammo three four. All enemy armor destroyed. Continuing with mission. Good copy three one. Bound up to next checkpoint and report. Out. Top of that ridge. Ammo three three. Copy. Incoming. They got us zeroed in. Standing by for gun run. What's that talking to me, huh? Okay, Miller. Lays the target. Ultra 3-4 and source alternate for immediate reattack. Break. Anvil Actual might have to pick up the ball on this and adjust to attack the BDM position. Out. Loading me! All Anvil Victors commencing charge. Three, two, one, mark. Driver, move out! Full throttle! There he goes. No trail moving left. I see it. Don't go 
ambushed us. He shot us to shit before we were ready. I just need someone to get to the trigger and get me. Somebody's got to get out there, but it ain't gonna be me.
You were trapped at the bank. Yeah, and running out of time, like we are now. So they came into the city. Where was that? There was a plaza outside. We were with the nuke inside the bank, waiting for Miller and Anvil 3 to get there. I radio them. I need to know when the relief force is coming. They say three minutes. We'll be there in three minutes.
Enbel 66, Enbel 34, status on QRF, over. Hello, Mr. Miller, is it? <laughs> Americans and their souvenirs. Is this your child? No, I can see the name. Johnny Miller. Hope he doesn't miss it too much. No, children, they get attached to these little things. They, get, they can cry for days when they lose one. You know why? Because these small objects remind them they're loved. But loss is part of growing up, isn't it? Part of growing up is accepting the inevitability of death. The inevitability, Mr. Miller, of death. My father told me that. You would be a hero to your children, too. I hope that gives you comfort. Brother! Amadei, <coughs> hey, John. Shame. You come to our country to murder us, yet we are the terrorists when we try to protect our nation and our people. This is the price you pay. <laughs> <laughs>